let's look at the modifier plugin. Now, this plugin allows you to quickly reassign your CCs, continuous controllers, without having to change the settings of whatever you're using. It could be a synth or any kind of virtual instrument. So in the input option, actually, let's make it much bigger. Yeah, that will do. So in the input event option, you set the event that you want. And then on the reassign to option, you select to what you want it to be reassigned. For example, the default option is velocity and mod wheel. So whatever the mod wheel is currently controlling, that will be controlled with the velocity once the modifier plugin is activated. So let's look at an example. In the paths that I have currently loaded, the mod wheel is controlling the cutoff frequency. So no matter what I do, the cutoff frequency will stay the same unless I use my mod wheel. Now with the modifier, I can select another parameter to control that. So let's try the default paths first. Velocity. So depending on how loud I play the keys, the cutoff will adapt and change the filter to follow that. So I'll keep playing the same key. Now look and listen at the cutoff. As you can see though, no matter how light I touch the keys, the cutoff frequency only goes to around 10, 11 o'clock. So here's what we can actually do to start looking, you know, at the plugin and change the parameters to affect that. Now let's take it from the beginning. The through button will determine whether the input will also be sent to the reassignment. The scale slider will determine the amount of the effect. So do we want less of it or more? So you can set the amount here. And the add slider lets you select set the offset amount of the output event. And if you see, it goes from 0 to 126. So 127 values. So it is essentially, it essentially adds or subtracts MIDI values. For example, in our case, if I now take the add down to a negative value, I can control the cutoff to a lower frequency than before. Now remember that with the add on 0, it only went to around 11 o'clock. So let's put it to, let's do minus 70. And look at what happens when I play softly now. Look at the cutoff. Loudly and softly. Let's take it all the way down now. As you can see, the cutoff now goes all the way down. And let's say that I want to adjust the scale. So let's go for, I don't know, 115. Now, when I play loudly, the cutoff won't reach all the way to the top of the knob. Look at the cutoff frequency. Now let's try it. I'm hitting the keys hard. And as you can see, it doesn't reach all the way to the top of the knob. It doesn't go all the way up. So use these two sliders to control the range of the effect. And of course, you can combine effects. So in this patch right here, the aftertouch introduces tremolo. So what if we want to keep the filter off, but open it only when you want, when we want to introduce tremolo. So all we have to do is go to the modifier plugin and the, in the input event, we are going to select after that. And then leave the reassign to the mod wheel, so as it is. Now let's raise up the cutoff a bit. Now I can play normally and the cutoff and tremolo won't be triggered. But when I use aftertouch, the filter will open and the tremolo will also be introduced. And since this is MIDI, we can assign it to other input events. For example, the filter can open up depending on the note we play. So the higher we go at the keyboard, the more it opens up. The lower we go, the more it closes. So to do that, I'll change the input event to 
node number. And let's adjust the sliders too. So let's do scale all the way up. And let's go for that. Let's go minus 60. And look at the cutoff while I am playing different pitches on the keyboard. Let's take the cutoff a bit lower. Of course, you can also assign a parameter to any fader or knob in your MIDI controller. Or even better, which is more fun, you can assign it to your plugin parameter. For example, let's open the Logic EQ. Let's put that here so you can look at everything. And now let's say that we want to control one of the bands with the mod wheel. So I'm going to use the mod wheel as my input event. So here and select MIDI CC1, which is the mod wheel. And then on the reassign to option, I will go to learn plugin parameter. So that way, anything I touch with my mouse on the plugin will be controlled by the mod wheel. So let's say we want to control this band here. So I am going to click on it. And now this one will be controlled by the mod wheel. Let's actually shape it a bit. So let's add a few dB. Let's work on the Q. Let's try it now. And as you can see, it is controlled with my mod wheel. And you can also, you know, push it and go crazy with more than one modifiers. So for example, let's add another one. Let's actually make this one smaller. That's fine. And let's add another modifier. There you go. And let's see, let's for this one, let's use the mod wheel as an in input event. And for this one, let's, let's do the same thing. Let's go plugin parameter. And then you can choose anything anywhere. It's MIDI. So let's go to Alchemy and let's choose, let's choose this one, this distort box right here. So I'm going to click on it. And now with the mod wheel, when I move it, as you can see, it will move the EQ and the Alchemy as well. So, let, let's actually try, let's play and see what we came up with. And with a mod wheel. And that is essentially what the modifier does. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff to explore. Uh, so if you want to experiment with it, you've got tons of options. I'll see you in the next one.